look at the environmental degradation that the world is facing and the vast inequality, these are outgrowths of our current business model, in part. Somewhere in my career, I figured out that my job was not just to grow projects, it was to grow organizations that could be vehicles for change. Jonathan saw the connection between greening and affordable housing way before anyone made that connection. Today, because of him, we've created the leading green standard for affordable housing. And it was Jonathan who was willing to try it out. He was the first developer to say, all of my developments will meet the green community standard. The ULI prize is awarded to a visionary that's made a difference to the built environment and has made both buildings and communities better places to nurture people in. Jonathan has exhibited that visionary leadership every step of the way in his life, in his work, in his thinking. So my goal is to try and figure out what are the models of business and the economic system that are committed to optimizing the commons. And if we can solve that, then I think we can solve all the issues that we're facing. In Via Verde, which was one of the really most incredible, dynamic, mixed income housing projects to be done in New York City, it was a huge breakthrough. When you meet Jonathan, when you get together with him, when you brainstorm with him, all the barriers come down and any idea comes onto the table. And that, I think, is something very special that he's sustained over three decades of the work he's doing. Sendero Verde was imagined to be the next stage in the evolution of this idea of communities of opportunity. It's the largest passive house project in the United States. These buildings ultimately use maybe 30% of the energy of a normal, well-designed building. His projects are absolutely astounding. First of all, they're incredibly difficult to do. He breaks all the rules of finance to make sure that there is a mix of incomes and that certain parts of the project can subsidize other parts of the project. Grace West is one of the acquisitions that we've done around the country. It's in inner city Newark, and it's emblematic of our Community of Opportunity program. Our goal is to provide the residents with excellence in education, excellence in access to health care, social services, all the arts programs, the things that will help those families thrive that may be missing from the zip code that they're in. When you talk to Jonathan, you see that all of his work and his decisions are ultimately about people. The cliche is that if one sees further than others is because they stand on the shoulders of giants. With Jonathan, he hasn't just stood on their shoulders, he studied their childhoods, he understands how they came to be so seminal, why they were so successful, really understanding deeply what these individuals did and how they did it. He's a leader who synthesizes ideas in ways that are so compelling that a professional group like ULI can accept and endorse him is a big step, I think, in validating a better future. I think it's very interesting and important that Jonathan is receiving this award now. Now is the time we have to rebuild the economy. 
We have to rebuild affordability. We have to create the jobs. And Jonathan's work over the last three, four decades has made him ready for this, ready to take on this challenge and deliver results.